all right now we are given x squared times x on 8 minus 8 equals to 0 all right so let's um, start by multiplying both sides by the LCM okay or we should multiply 3 by the LCM so we have 8 as the LCM times x squared times x on 8 minus 8 times 8 equals to 0 times 8 so this side will cancel I will have it x squared times x minus 88 8, 64 equal to 0 okay all right now x squared times x you know the power here is 1 so the bases are equal so we have x let's add the powers key minus 64 equals to 0 all right so s cube minus 64 equal to 0 now when you are given a a cube minus b cube is the same as a minus b x squared plus a b plus b squared so we call this one difference of keys okay all right so let's focus on this we need to change this one okay we know 64 when you multiply 4 times 4 16 16 times 4 so 6 4 this is one so we have 64 it means that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so we can see x cube minus 4 to the power 3 equals to 0 so let's perform the same action here so a is x b is 4 so we have x minus 4 so x squared plus 4x plus the square of 4 16 okay equals to zero all right so the x minus four times that equal to zero when we're giving x times x plus y equal to zero we say x equal to zero or x plus y equals to zero so with this x minus four equal to zero or x squared plus 4x plus 16 equal to 0. Remember, the power here is 3, and therefore we have um, 3 solutions. Okay? Alright, so we have the first solution as x equals to 4. So let's see if we can find the other two solutions from x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16 equal to 0 okay so let's use the almighty formula now if i compare this one with the general quadratic equation dx squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 so when you compare a is 1 b is 4 and c is 16 okay all right so we have minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 ac over 2 a so we have x now remember minus b b is 4 so we have minus 4 
plus or minus b cell for four squared minus four times one times 16 on two times one so this side will be so minus four plus or minus four squared 16 minus four times so 16 times four four two four one four we have 64 minus 64 on two so minus four plus or minus so we have so 16 minus 64 so that would be negative 8 so we have 48 so this side will be minus 48 on 2 so let's see if we can reduce them x equals to minus 4 plus or minus minus 48 all right so you know from complex numbers square root of negative 1 is same as i so let's bring the negative out so this side is same as minus 4 plus or minus square root of 48 times square root of negative 1 2 so we can say x equals minus 4 plus or minus 48 i on 2 okay So this one is the same as minus 4 plus. So, so let me write the first answer. 48i on 2 or minus 4 minus square root of 48i on 2. All right. So we know 48 can be written as a perfect square times set so 16 times so 48 16 times 3 and we have 4 3 so the final answer here will be x equals minus 4 plus 4 3 i on 2 which is minus 2 plus 2 3 i and the other one will be x equals minus 2 minus 2 3 i and the third one is x equals to let's confirm x equals 4 s equals to 4 okay so we have two complex solutions here and the only rare solution is x equals to 4 so let's verify from the question okay so we have x equals to 4 so let's plug in 4 and see so this side will be 4 squared times 4 on 8 minus 8 equal to 0 so 2 here okay 4 here 1 4 here 2 okay so 4 squared is 16 so we have 16 on 2 minus 8 equal to 0 2 here 8 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 that is 16 hence Proved. All right. So, time for watching.